Okay. What am I doing? I want to see your complete outfit. Stand up! Okay. It's not that exciting. Turn Hold around. on. Turn around. Turn around? Yeah. See? Oh, the skirt. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Can they see? Here. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. It's most important. Oh, here. my God. Don't fall. Don't Can fall. Don't fall. Oh, my God. Can you go to the chair? Here. Can I get it? Should I do that? <laughs> Can you see it? You oh, I got you. There. That's my complete outfit. Okay, so you know it's live, right? You know this is really happening live. Okay, now, but I have a pillow or I'm too short. Again. Okay, you just answered my question. Yeah, okay, see what I do for you guys? Um, I can't read that language. What is that? Share a piece, Israel. By the way, everybody loved playing Israel. How great was that? So inspirational for us. That was just the most wonderful. Do songs come to you that are just for you, never for anyone else? Yes. A song came to me this morning, Naked as the Lamb. Uh, unless I'm doing a Christmas record with Tash, it probably shouldn't show up. Okay. Besides Honey, are there other songs you kick yourself for leaving off a record? Yes. Sugar. Sugar. Honey. Get the picture. Um... Here in my head, this song from Bond that somebody's brought up, but I'm going to do something. I'm going to correct that. Um, do I write songs for myself? Yeah, I do. I do, but they don't always make the cut. Just because they might be repetitive of something else. Sometimes when you're just fiddling around, you don't realize, oh my God, I just, I just wrote that a few weeks ago, but in another form. Um, what about bootlegs from old shows? Especially, uh, what was that, five and a half weeks? That's a really good idea. Um, it's about time, because you have to go through those tapes, and you have to uh, edit them, and then mix them. And it, it takes a lot of time to get that right, but it's not... It's not as if we're not considering it. Um, any plan to visit Mexico and South America? Let me ask, Chelsea. <laughs> any plans? Not this year. Not, not before Christmas. <laughs> but the thing is, we said we would go to Poland, and we did. We said we would go to Australia, Israel. and we did. We said we'd go to Israel, and we did. So maybe the next place we need to say we're going to go to is somewhere south of the border. It's always about getting our crew down there and um, making it happen. And sometimes, you know, we just have to carve it out. So, okay. What else is going on? Um, do you ever plan on making a children's album? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. It's, it's a good question. I think the Light Princess, children should be able to come, but I'm not just writing it for children. It's not a Disney piece. Um, I'm not against Disney. Tash loves going to see Beauty and the Beast, and I thought the stage production was really great. But the Light Princess is based on a 19th century novel, and yet we've changed it a lot. Of course, we're going to add things in there that might relate to what a teenage girl goes through today that wasn't talked about in the book in the 19th century. So you know that I'm going to be pushing for certain elements that Disney might not include, or they would include, they would include it in a way that would be acceptable. And I like to push it a little bit because even though Tash loves some of those programs from Disney, she's seven years old. And being exposed to it has, has helped me because you begin to see, what is it that she's staring at? Why, why is Tash and Barry, my hair and makeup person, um, why are they, they Disney Channel addicts? 
and the two of them will be sitting there for hours and hours and hours watching these things over and over and over again. I'll stick my hand and say, what happened to you two? And so I begin to see what it is that is seducing them. So when you're writing something for an audience, say, 7 to 75, um, then you have to think about having meanings on both levels. And it's not strictly for children, no, The Light Princess. I would like to think that if you're um, going out with the girls on a date or you just want to have a fun night, that you can come to it and get something out of it. But also, if you want to bring your child, that you're not saying, God, I wish I hadn't brought that. That's not what I wanted my child to be exposed to. But they have to be open-minded, seven.